Good morning, everybody. My name is Michelle Karp, and I am the principal here. On behalf of our teachers, staff, and students, I extend a warm welcome to parents, relatives, and friends of our eighth grade class to our 2023 graduation ceremony. I would like to thank Mr. Lavoie, as well as our jazz musicians for the music this morning. Music is an integral part of all of our lives, and I feel blessed that our students have continued their commitment to our music program. Here's a quote from Billy Joel. Quote, music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. It's something we are all touched by. No matter what culture we're from, everyone loves music. Would you please join me in another round of applause for our musicians? Thank you for coming this morning. It's amazing to see the friends, family, and educators here. A reminder of just how important these young adults are to all of us. I'd like to also thank Mr. Greg Martineau, Superintendent, Mr. Keith Lavoie, Assistant Superintendent, and Dr. Stephanie Reinhorn, Assistant Superintendent, for their support over the past three years. At this point, we will invite Ben Dane, Emma Jones, Sabrina Rosa Masit, and Stella Val to lead us in the singing of the national anthem. I'll ask everyone to stand if you are able and direct your attention to the flag. That is one of the hardest songs to sing, and what a wonderful job our singers did. Can we give them another round of applause, please? It was wonderful. I would like to thank our assistant principal, Mrs. Jennifer Callahan, along with parents Robin Manning and Sarah Chisna for leading and organizing our eighth grade farewell dance. And I'd like to thank the parents who helped in the planning, donating, decorating, and chaperoning of this wonderful event. Our students had a great time, and it's because of all of you. Thank you very much. And now, a message to our eighth graders. I promise I'll keep it short. Two of your three years of middle school were drastically impacted by the global pandemic. Who will ever forget everything, including school, closing down in March of 2020, when you were in fifth grade? When you entered middle school, everyone was remote for a few weeks. 
And then you were either standalone remote or hybrid with cohorts A attending on certain days, cohort B attending on certain days. Think about it. Your very first year of middle school and we were all wearing masks and nobody could keep track of what day was what and what schedule we were following, including the adults. Some of you remained in our standalone remote program throughout that year, entering the building physically for the first time as students in seventh grade. To start seventh grade, we were all still wearing masks. So the critical times of middle school, when you are supposed to be working on your social skills and connecting with new people, making new friends and trying new things, those years were anything but normal. Undoubtedly, this experience contributed to how you learned, how you interacted with your peers and adults, and how you have matured and grown over the past three years. The end of seventh grade was typical and was a harbinger of things to come, with eighth grade being back to normal or on to what we call now a new normal. Some of those new terms that came out of COVID-19, like the new normal. Eighth grade was a typical year for everyone, some of us wore masks from time to time, especially if we didn't feel well or if we had other health issues. You benefited from some positive changes that resulted from the pandemic. More classes being held more often outside, more choices in your learning, classmates staying home when they were sick, more technology integration into your learning, and lots of other things. It has been inspiring watching you all come together over the past week celebrating together at the farewell dance, enjoying field day this week, and now sharing this graduation ceremony. Being a small part of your journey has been an honor for all of us who worked with you. Despite the atypical start to your middle school experience, you have all grown and matured immensely over the past three years. You have made new friends, tried new things. You are ready for high school. This is the last time you will be together as one class. Some of you will move on to Algonquin. Some will move on to Assabet. Some will go to St. John's. And some will attend other schools. Regardless, you are all ready for the next phase of your lives. You have people who care about you and support you. And you will meet many others in the coming years who will also continue to support you. Please take chances. Meet new people, make new friends, and try new things. You are more than ready. Congratulations to our eighth graders. At this point, I would like to acknowledge the two staff members who are retiring from Melican, Mrs. Janice Bissett and Mrs. Dominique LaPaul. In her 18 years at Melican, Jan has worked hard to support all students, opening the library before school, monitoring many after-school clubs for students, and sharing her love of reading. In her 19 years at Melican, Dominique has instilled a love of the French language and the French culture to her students, sharing her enthusiasm and excitement and bringing the language alive in her classroom. We will miss both of them and congratulations to you both. I would also like to acknowledge and congratulate our assistant principal, Mrs. Jennifer Callahan, who, after 22 years at Melican, eight as assistant principal, will begin her journey as the principal of the Lincoln Street School. She brought her unparalleled work ethic, her sense of humor, her love of sports, and connections to students and families to her leadership role at Melican, and she will be deeply missed. Congratulations to Mrs. Callahan. And of course, she would like to speak. <laughs> First off, I would like to say I was almost late possibly missed the graduation because I was in the parking lot handing out citations. 
I apologize for the paint. It will come off eventually. So congratulations to the Millican Middle School, School Class of 2023. As I reflect on our time together, there are sev several memories and incidents that come fleeting back. Sixth grade was a year of masks, social distancing, distancing, an abundance of caution, and lots and lots of hand sanitizer. Seventh grade, we tiptoed back to, toward normalcy. Sports resumed, concerts were in person, and TikTok was making a fortune on our teenagers. Eighth grade, this year, we were back. The hallways were lively, the students were active in all kinds of costumes, and life moved forward. I thought this would be a great opportunity to share with all of you, class of 2023, and the families, some of the highlights that I will always remember about this year. Our math team captured the league title and competed in the championship. If you are wondering about the IMLEM top scorer, she goes to Melican. Our music department, staff and students performed an amazing musical, Matilda, and our band students received the bronze medal at MICA. In sports, our boys soccer and boys basketball teams placed second in the league, and our track team sent 14 Melican male and female athletes to the states. Who can forget all the fun theme days, like anything but a backpack and Decades Day? The annual Gobble Wobble outside in November to kick off our Holiday Helpers fundraiser in December. That fundraiser raised over $1,500 for the families and communities of Northborough. Our World of Difference group led workshops for Melican students and attended the ADL conference in Boston. The second annual three-on-three -three basketball tour tournament before April vacation. The Spanish dance company, Totos, taught some students and staff members a few moves and a tasty trip down the street to Say La Vie. Our SAGA club led the day of silence and kicked off Pride Month in style. To wrap the year up, we had our first ever color run. Thank you to the students who did not dunk me. It was a long 30 minutes in that tank. I am so proud and grateful to have my last year at Melican with this class. We have learned and laughed together. I thought about ending with an inspiring quote by Einstein, MLK, Gandhi, maybe even Oprah, but those are not my words. The best advice I can share with you today is about you. Only you have the ability to take chances, be courageous, ask questions, and advocate for yourself. In order to be the best version of yourself, you need to look in the mirror and look out the window. Both observations will shape you. Values like kindness, integrity, compassion, and empathy are all important to have and develop on your journey. But the most important life lesson I can share with you today, one that I have tried to model every single day at Melican, is to show up and dig in. Put yourself in a place to succeed and be present. If any obstacles get in your way, use your support systems to overcome the struggle. It could be a teammate, a teacher, or a neighborhood friend. And once you get there, dig in, high school and beyond. From this day forward, you need to dig in. Everything you do in life requires work. An after school job, practicing an instrument, playing a sport, or even your academic tasks. Do it with pride, do it with passion, and do it with purpose. I would just like to thank, in this conclusion, the superintendent of schools, Mr. Greg Martineau, and the whole central office for believing in me. I'd like to thank all the staff for supporting and trusting me over the years. I'd like to thank all the families for communicating with me. And thanks especially to the students for the last 22 years on this roller coaster known as middle school. You have made this job pure joy. Lastly, I want to thank my Melican Middle School confidant, work partner and friend, Mrs. Carp. Even this very morning at 519, we were receiving text messages, we meaning me, on last minute chores and jobs to do around the building before this day started. She has modeled the importance of building relationships and focusing on students. The entire Melican community has been my family, literally a home away from home. Thanks for the memories and I will always have a place in my heart for the Roadrunners. Thank you.
We're going to hug now. <laughs> Mrs. Callahan is not wrong. I probably will be texting her at 4.30 or 5 in the morning, and I'm expecting her to respond and help me out, even though she'll be just down the road. So I'm sure she'll still have some sort of an impact on me and on Melican. So thank you again, Mrs. Callahan. And at this time in the program, we will ask Mr. Lavoie and our jazz band to perform um, Coconut Champagne for us. So everybody enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank you to our jazz band. As they um, disassemble, we will invite a couple of our students up to share their eighth grade banner. So it's become a tradition for our eighth graders to create a banner that will hang in our gym. This banner is made by eighth graders who work alongside their art teacher, Mrs. Hansbury. So at this time, I will invite Liv Gray and Ali Carrado Padilla to the front to unveil this year's banner. We certainly have a lot of talent in this year's eighth grade. And now we will invite um, one of our eighth graders to say a few words. Mary Rodriguez, could you please come up? Well, everyone, we made it. Congratulations to us all who made our way here with all the challenges they faced. Now we're here celebrating our accomplishments after a long way. Taylor Swift once said, in the real world, if you have something that makes you different, you're lucky. What she said is true. If you do have something that makes you different, you should embrace it, not suppress it. You know, Taylor wasn't the only one to encourage others to be themselves. My mom would also remind me that it was normal to be unique. I would always have this one specific piece of advice my mom enforced me starting on day one. She always encouraged me to be myself, unapologetically, and to not fear to be different. She also told me that we must be unique in order to find their purpose in life. This piece of advice always stuck with me, even to this day. You see, we are all like individual puzzle pieces. We're all unique and also click with certain types of people and we don't with others. Just like solving a puzzle, sometimes it can be complicated and we don't know where we fit in. However, we do not need to fit in to be accepted. At one point or another in our time here, like a single puzzle piece, we didn't know where we belonged or who we clicked with. 
But then, with the uniqueness you brought, it led to those people who clicked with you, which brought a sense of belongingness. Even sometimes, some of us would feel like that last puzzle piece that was missing, but that would leave the whole puzzle incomplete. And let's be honest, we all hate it when that happens. It can totally be frustrating. However, like that final puzzle piece, we need everybody to complete a community. But how do we do that? We can all start with respect and acceptance. Right now, I want you all to think about something that makes you unique. I've met a lot of different types of people throughout my time here at Melkin, and there's always something, this one small detail, that made each person unique. When we go off to high school, I want us all to keep that one special thing that makes us a unique individual. That small quirk or attribute that you obtain will carry you through high school. That one thing will attract those friends who will appreciate us for who we actually are. We, as people, should not have to hide this special thing, as it is the thing that sets us apart from others. We, as people, should accept each other for who we are. We should not make fun of someone for a quirk that they have. We should also not have to exclude others for being themselves. This would only lead to the person suppressing their own uniqueness, which could damage their own self-image. I want us all to, to con continue to be unique, regardless of the people who judge us, humiliate us, and put us down. By being unique and having that special thing, we can find our purpose in life, which can be a blessing to others. Let's be honest, the pandemic did a lot to our generation, especially since we specifically started middle school during COVID's peak. During this time, we probably all felt like a lost puzzle piece. I have to say, this led to a lot of issues that suppressed our true selves. We were isolated from everyone, and this, and this long isolation led us to lose our social behaviors of interacting with other people. With us learning how to interact with others, we also had several personality shifts. But do you know what's saying? That one thing that makes you unique. That one thing carried us through those difficult times. Throughout the pandemic, we also grew and lost friends on the way. However, it signifies that those friends no longer clicked with you. But eventually, our personalities helped us attract the right people who will become friends who actually appreciate us for who we are. Additionally, our community is also like a giant puzzle. Everyone is important, and we need all the pieces to complete it. When there are missing pieces, it would leave an incomplete puzzle. Our community should be complete with everyone having mutual respect for each other. While some of us may not get along, it is important that we do not suppre suppress the personalities of others, as it will make them feel out of place, like a puzzle piece that's trying to fit in with others. We should not have to destroy our true selves just so we can fit in. We don't have to fit in for the acceptance of someone who you truly aren't. Instead, we as a community should accept each other for who we are authentically, not for the damaged version of who you are. So, from this day forward, I hope we can be authentic, accepting, and we can find our purposes in life. So cheers to the MMS class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. You handled the wind up here like a champ and the blowing flags. Um, at this point, Mrs. Getchell will lead our eighth grade chorus as they sing Give Us Hope and Georgia On My Mind and Alleluia, I Love Her So.
so very simple to see what we need. Give us hope, my voice is calling. Can you see? Look in my eyes. Can you feel? My hand is reaching. Give us hope and we'll show you the in my eyes. Can you feel? My hand is reaching. Give us hope and we'll show you the Georgia, the whole night through, just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia. I said, Georgia. Oh, Georgia, a song of you comes as sweet and clear as moonlight through the Let me tell you about a girl I know. She's one 
Thank you to our chorus, and now we will hear a few words from Ben Dane. friends, Melican teachers, and my fellow graduates. Well, we made it. This far. Or, as Taylor Swift said, long story short, I survived. Our journey started in 2020, a year that included the Australian wildfires, the election of Joe Biden, and, oh yeah, COVID-19. In fifth grade, on the day in March that changed everything, our parents read the email that would determine our fate for the years to come. The email simply stated that the schools were to be shut down to be cleaned for one day. <laughs> Yay, a break from the totally hectic life of fifth grade. A day to hang out with our friends and to sleep in. A day became a week, and before we knew it, the whole school year was over. While we were happy not to be in school, I think that most of us were also sad about those days and the days that would come. No field trips, fun activities, and especially no graduation. We were robbed of that day. So here we are to make up for it. As I stand here at our first true graduation, I would like to talk about the lessons learned throughout the pandemic and middle school. One lesson that I learned from my time here at Melican Middle School is do not be afraid to connect with people and form relationships. In sixth grade, we were deprived of forming proper relationships with people due to hybrid and remote learning masks, social distancing, and who could forget eating lunch in the back gym and cafeteria with desks facing forward, watching movies, and where talking was strictly prohibited. For some of us, this lack of interaction might have made it harder to make friends in seventh and eighth grade. But just as we started to return to a normal school environment here in middle school, suddenly we are off to another beginning, a new era, as we head off to high school. Learning how to make friends behind muffled masks while six feet away from each other is a lesson that we, can all, that we all learned and can take with us to Algonquin or any of our future schools. This especially helped me this year in eighth grade because I learned not to be afraid to branch out to different people. Now, as I leave for high school, I do not feel nervous to form relationships with new people while still keeping my current friends close. Another very important lesson that I took away from these three years is not to wish away time. I think that a lot of us can agree that at one point, we wished that the school day would be over, when in reality, it was only the first period. <laughs> As the year progressed, this may even have become a habit. But if we hadn't had these moments, we may have lost time with friends, the ability to learn something new, and the bonding with teachers. It's like waiting for a new artist's album to come out. We just wish for that date, 
counting down the days until you get to hear the fresh new music in your ears that you don't take time to fully appreciate the artist's other music, soaking it in and just being grateful that you have it. So don't wish away those moments. Keep them with you every second of every day because before you know it, these moments will be behind you and you will never be able to relive them. Something else that I learned from middle school is that you will find your passion. Going into Melikin, I did not know what I would find or what school had in store for me. For many of us, finding our passion in middle school was very important for it determined what we would be spending our time doing in the next three years and who we would be spending our time with. It took a year, but I soon figured out that music was my thing. As someone who adores listening to music, discovering that I could sing those songs and play them on the piano really inspired me to follow this path. Participating in the school musical in seventh and eighth grade was another big factor in helping me find my passion. Not only did I realize that all I learned, I learned from telly, but I found some of my closest friends who brought me far and supported me along the way. I was also inspired by my classmates and teachers working so hard towards one common goal. I learned that listening to and playing music would help me get through school, and I know it will continue to help me get through the next four years. So, even if you have not found your passion yet, you will find it soon. And I'm confident that high school will offer each of us a chance to find new things and discover talents we never knew we had. There will always be people there to support you along the way. For me, it was Mrs. Getchell who always believed in me and showed me that I can shine when it comes to music and performing. While I may not remember what a preposition is or even the Pythagorean theorem, sorry Mrs. Jameson, I will take with me the many memories I've made and the important life lessons I've learned. So remember, do not be afraid to connect with people. Don't wish away time and have faith because you will find your passion, even if you haven't yet. Though I may have wished away some of my time during these past three years, I am still glad I could have these special moments with the eighth grade class of Millican Middle School. Thank you. We will now call each homeroom up to the front for students to receive their graduation certificates. I will ask that we hold our applause until all students in the section have been acknowledged. Before we call up the first homeroom, I'd like to recognize our team leaders, Mrs. Senior and Mr. Rudloff. Thank you for your work. And we will start with section 8-1, please. We're, we're working on it. <laughs> I think this looks right now. Here we go. Avery Adams. Javon Alston. Noor Akkad. John Babcock. Ashton Bates, Allison Dennehy, Molly Gallagher. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Maria Garibay Gomez, Lucas Laughlin, 
Isabella Mello Furtado. Maya Middleton. Kimberly Murray. Arjun McCurgy. Robert Naris. <laughs> Lucas Oliveira. Akshaj Palavarapu. Mary Rodriguez. Andrew Ross. Gavin Santiago. Julia Santos. Tyler Stanwood. Stella Vall. And Brody Wilson. Congratulations, Section 81. Section 8-2, alphabetical order. We're still working on it. We're all works in progress. Thank you. All right. Sanya Afif. Cam Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> Mila Barcelos. Matthew Bechet. Cammie Blake. Yeah, Julia Craig. Connor DeVito. Michael Derval. <laughs> Liam Gerard. Grace Huggins. Jack Jones. Gasagra Candola, Eric Kajali, Michael Lefebvre, Amy Lee, Vishwa Makadevan, Mimi Pereira, Colin Perry, Justin Perazzi, Archie Sanford, Amanda Santos, and Lily Woodward. Congratulations, 8-2. Ryan Adrianson, Brianna Belanger, Aiden Bradbury, Alex Campero, Anthony Celestino, Peachy Che, Ryan Chisna, Brooke Suzuki, Elijah Delone. 
Ephraim DuPont. Grace English. Oliver Gaskamp. Jasper Gergoni. Rogan Green. Neil Gupta. Isaac Harrington. Christian Luciano. Harry Manning. Christiana Santella. Shane Zeiger. Congratulations, 8 3. Section 8-4, please. Hey, guys. Yes, look right up. Yes, girl! Yes, I'm on duty. Sarah Ahmed, Chase Amato, Harley Cerrone, Gary Chang, Ali Carrado Padilla, Beatrice de Oliveira, Andrew Cullen, Amelia Darmeco, Al Defazio, Kareem Farag, Miriam Haradi, John Cadis, Andrew Carabin, Avery Mayo, Finn McManus. Isabella Nimi, Luke Knopfsinger, Truhi Patel, Kiernan Renzi, Vincent Shi, and Maeve Walker. Congratulations, A4. Kaylee Devaney, <laughs> Leah Douglas, Andrew Dunlevy, <laughs> Ryan Fawcett, Colin Gerber, 
Olivia Gray. Silas Hall. Silas. Emma Jones. Monroe Core. Slade Mararian. Gavin McGrath. Dana Murray. Emma Pereira. Um. William Rankowitz. <laughs> Peyton Rabotham. <laughs> Timothy Ryan. <laughs> Melissa Silva. <laughs> Aiden Taylor. <laughs> Ava Wells. Angel Zhang. Congratulations, Ethan. Thank you. Section 86, please. Sidra Alani. Anch Baskaran. Gustavo Braga. Aliana Campos. John Cardillo. Benjamin Dane. Brandon DeSantis. Claire Devane. Connor Flaherty. Nicholas Furtado. Link Kalen. Conan Kurashige. Nora Kurtz. Abigail Lamb. Mariana Lucchese. Brendan McLaughlin. Allison Mendoza. Calvin Midgley. Calvin. Sebastian Moncaliano. Nicholas Morgan. Noah Oliver. Rebecca Palmer. Sabrina Rosa Masip. Bruna Silva. Congratulations, Aitken. Section 87, please. Hi, how are you? Wait, I'll, 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 Is she going up now? No. She's in the big section? She's in the last section. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the last one. Okay. 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 <laughs> Oh, don't sit in the sun seat. Okay. Yes, of course. Sit there. I don't know where it is. With Nathan. Emmett Campbell. Hannah Suzuki. 
Nyla Collison. Jed Dillai. Joshua Herdman. Jet Hoffman. Yaneli Jimenez. Madeline Martins. Fallon Medrano. Victor Norman. Jacob Nystrom. Jasmine Pallet. Sanjay Sethuraman. Divyagni Shivashak. Darren Snipes. Congratulations, Homeroom 87. Last but certainly not least, 8-8. Eight, eight. Please come on up. Leland Beads. Daniel Cunniff. Daniela Davidson. Mohammed Alakani. Taylor Furlow. Cecilia Free. Stephen Green. Nicholas Hogan. Shian Kurashige. Giovanni Lazo Romero. Kyle Locke. Cole Mario. Zaira Maze. Patrick McCardle. Ella Maori. <laughs> Mara Nelson. Ryan Oliveira. Camila Prudencio. Fernanda Prudencio. Nicholas Reyes. Olivia Scalise. Haley Simino. Ryan Simino. Catherine Stamoulis. Kira Terry. Bryant Velasquez. Madali West. Congratulations, 8-8. start to get set up please.
Thank you to our eighth grade band. Um, and just so everybody knows, this is the only time that all of the eighth graders get to hear their fellow eighth graders um, sing and play. So thank you again to Mr. Lavoie and to Mrs. Getchell for the music that you have brought to our students' lives. And thank you to our young musicians. It has become tradition for us to honor some of our eighth graders at our graduation ceremony. We have three awards to present. For each award, teachers nominate students and then teachers vote once all the nominations are in. Mrs. Carol O'Hara was a special teacher who worked here for 30 years teaching art to students 
who flourished under her guidance. She passed away unexpectedly in 2004 when she was still very much a beloved part of the Melican community. Mrs. O'Hara made a huge difference in the lives of many students. We established this award as a way to honor her legacy. This award goes to an eighth grader who exemplifies some of the qualities that made Mrs. O'Hara unforgettable. These qualities include compassion, tolerance, kindness, and acceptance. This year's Carol O'Hara Award winner is Rebecca Palmer. Our school was renamed the Robert E. Mellican Middle School in 2002 to honor Mr. Mellican. This next award goes to an eighth grader who exemplifies some of the qualities that made Mr. Robert Mellican unforgettable. Spirited leadership, good sense of humor, and standing up for what is right. Mr. Mellican was a teacher here at the middle school for many years, and he was our superintendent after that. He had a significant impact on our school and the district. This year's Robert E. Mellican Award goes to Liam Gerard. <laughs> and for our final award, we added a third award a few years ago, established in memory of a former Spanish teacher here at Mellican. Mrs. Lisa Kaplan passed away in November of 2015 after a brief illness. Mrs. Kaplan had an unparalleled zest for life and a caring spirit, always bringing out the best in everyone around her. This award goes to an eighth grader who exemplifies some of the qualities that made Mrs. Kaplan unforgettable. Enthusiasm, generosity, passion, positivity, optimism, and inspiration. This year's Lisa Kaplan Award goes to Nicholas Furtado. When we finish with today's ceremony, our eighth grade teachers will lead our, lead our students back to the tennis courts over there where you can meet up with them. Feel free to take pictures anywhere if you'd like. Thank you for joining us today, and we thank you for partnering with us in supporting these amazing young adults over the past three years. We wish our eighth graders the best as they embark on their next journey. You have indeed left your mark on Melican. We will miss you very much. Thank you, everybody. Never.